So this is Jack Silverman. Hi. Of, uh, what's your institution now? I'm at IOLR, Israeli Institute of Limnology and Oceanography. So what are you doing here with this machine? Uh, I'm analyzing uh, seawater that we sampled earlier on the reef flat uh, for uh, total alkalinity. Uh, we're using these measurements to uh, assess the uh, rate of calcification uh, by uh, measuring the differences uh, uh, of alkalinity uh, during uh, the low tide slack water period. So what is this machine measuring? Oh, uh, it measures actually the amount of acid we add to a sample of water uh, until uh, the buffer, which is uh, seawater, uh, is uh, basically eliminated. So it's measuring alkalinity, basically. So it's me measuring total alkalinity. Most of the alkalinity in seawater is carbonate alkalinity. So as we add uh, protons from the acid, uh, carbonate and bicarbonate are being trans, uh, converted to uh, CO2. Uh, eventually, uh, when, uh, when there's no bicarbonate or carbonate in the uh, seawater, uh, more or less is, is when we say uh, that the titration is finished. That the, and then the volume of acid that we added is equivalent to the alkalinity of seawater. So when corals grow, do they increase or decrease the alkalinity of seawater? Well, uh, as I said a moment ago, uh, calcification causes uh, seawater alkalinity to decrease, and dissolution of calcium carbonate in seawater causes alkalinity to increase. So if you, in these measurements, see alkalinity of the seawater decreasing, what does that tell you about the corals? That means that uh, the corals are calcifying happily. And uh, we've seen already that uh, alkalinity is negligibly affected by uh, other uh, uh, chemical components in seawater, such as uh, nutrients, uh, changes in solidity due to evaporation or precipitation uh, here on the island. And we've shown that uh, uh, basically, most of the changes in alkalinity are caused by calcification and dissolution of calcium carbonate. So, um, so what did we do today out in the field? So, what we did today out in the field is we measured, we sampled water uh, in a uh, grid of uh, 40 to 50 meters uh, between each grid point. Uh, 14 grid points uh, covering about, I'd say about 100 to by 150 square meters of the reef flat. Um, uh, we did this uh, twice before low tide and uh, about two hours afterwards and uh, we're going to try and assess the uh, rate of calcification of that whole area of the reef by uh, by uh, uh, calculating the difference in the average total alkalinity of that grid. Okay, just a minor correction. It was a uh, hundred or one hundred fifty meters square, not square yeah, yeah. meters. Right. Okay, so uh, I think we'll let you get on with your work, Thank and you. uh, we will uh, <laughs> visit you again sometime later. And as you continue working on getting these very precise measurements. Okay. Okay. Thank you very Great. much. Bye bye. bye.